All right, let's see what we have here. All right, this looks like an interesting guy. So, from what I can see, I'm trying to think what his aesthetics looks like. It kind of looks uh, sort of Mayan based, like like a uh, kind of like an Aztec sort of theme to him. I kind of like the look of this guy. I don't know how he's gonna play. I, I guess it looks kind of cubish, but it also looks kind of like a mask. I don't know uh, exactly how he's gonna fight this, but let's see. Let's jump right into it. Yeah, so he's kind of kind of looks like a mask. So he's gonna shoot projectiles at us and. Oh, I thought it'd be a bit um, bullets are free, but it's all kinds of stuff. I guess just however <laughs> however many he wants. So instantly, I can see what his weak point is right behind uh, you know him in general behind his mask uh, is basically like a huge glowing square as we can see. I'm guessing one shot there'll do it. All right, just have to find a way to get around him. Let's see. So his bullets aren't too difficult to dodge. Basically, if you just keep circling them, he's easy to dodge, basically. Also, there's kind of a gap in which you can just go between the bullets like that, so... Not too difficult just yet, but we don't know if he has any different phases. I'm not too sure how we get around him, though. Because he's always facing us, as you can see. So I don't know. I don't really know how to... Hmm. We'll find this out eventually. By the way, I just want to point out, the music in this boss battle so far is incredible. It's like an epic, like, oh, damn, we rolled straight into that. It's like an epic choir, like, orchestral, like, bad <laughs> soundtrack. It's really good. I haven't really commented much on the music in this game, actually, uh, you know, since we started this playthrough. Um, I, I guess, like, until we figure out how to defeat this guy, I'll kind of just talk about other things. So, yeah, the music in this game, it's amazing, as you can hear. You've probably heard this all the time, but, like, in my opinion, it's it's a little flawed because of the, uh, the you know, the way the game works, because it's so difficult. You're only ever going to hear... In most bosses, the first five seconds, because you just you can you know you're gonna get instantly wrecked, right? Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> I was waiting for the hour to come back, so I didn't really have much time to roll there. But yeah, you only get to hear the first five seconds, and then you die. So essentially, you just hear the first five seconds over and over again, but you never really get to hear most of the other song unless you you know you're good enough to sort of survive long enough. But uh, if you like this kind of music, I guess you know like. I, I might purchase the soundtrack myself because it's a bloody good soundtrack. For, it's, you know, as much as I've heard so far. I really don't know how to go about dealing with this guy. Because the fit, closer I get, the uh, less, you know, chance I have to dodge his bullets. But I really have to get close. I don't know how to aim like behind him. Whoa, that was strange. <laughs> I kind of got like jammed underneath him. Did you hear that? That was really weird. Let's not have that happen again. <laughs> that was really terrifying. Um, I have no idea. It's going to take some time. Because he's always facing towards you, right? I have no idea. There's nothing else we can do. Like, we, if we keep aiming at him with our, with our arrow, it's not really going to do anything. Whoop. Maybe aim for his mouth when it's open, when he's shooting the bullets, maybe? Oh, I think I might have figured it out. It's going to be damn tricky, though. All right, then. Essentially, you know the um, the mechanic of bringing the arrow back with your telekinesis? I think we're going to have to use that to hit him in the back. And I don't know how I'm going to go about doing this. Let's see, right? So let's just loose our arrow somewhere, just for example, just over there. So we're going to have to wait until he's facing away from us and then bring it back. Let's see if we can do this. Time it good here. Come on. Right. Let's try and get it as close to the wall as we can, just down here, and just leave it down there, and then we'll... Oh, that was close. We'll try and bring it back around. Here we go. Come on. Yes! Oh, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> that worked so much better than I thought it would. Oh, I'm chuffed about that. That was a pretty good boss fight. You see, they brought back a mechanic that, you know, you're just so used to using. But, the, like, no, in no other boss in this game previously had you had to use that ability to, in order to defeat them. Like, you might defeat them, uh, like, you might not plan to defeat them that way. It might just happen randomly. But, like, this is the first boss we've encountered that actually has you use that mechanic in order to defeat them. Like, you can't defeat them any other way. That is oh, it's so good. The boss, you know, the boss designs are still fresh. You know, the, you, no matter how many uh, bosses we defeat... You know, they still still amaze me. Ah, oh. 
Right, I don't know where to go from here because looking at the save point here, there's one more boss in this area. However, there's only one door. Unless there's... Oh, there's a path over here. This must be it. I didn't see this first time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is this a dead end? I'm sure this was leading somewhere, right? Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, I saw that little patch of dirt there and I thought that that's a bit too... It's so it's too random for that to be there. Like there's nothing else here besides that. Ah, oh, this game you ain't tricking me just yet. <laughs> yeah, I've played too many games to know you know stuff like that. Um, although I'm not too sure how to navigate through here. Is this like a, is this a like a secret? Or this is just the way to get to the next boss. All right, so it didn't do that usual boss chime when you went to a boss chamber. You know, you use like typical sound. This didn't have one. Is this going to take us to another zone, or is this like a full-blown blown secret? I have no idea. Alright, so we have some more like hieroglyphic stuff here. I'm not sure what this really means, but it's kind of cool looking. I love the uh, the kind of Aztec sort of style they're going for in this game. It looks really cool. It looks like, the, you know, the sign of, kind of designs you see on a, uh, like a Mayan wheel. It kind of, uh, it's kind of reminiscent of that. The, uh, I re realize they take uh, a lot of themes from uh, many different sort of inspirations. But it kind of has, a, a, like, a look of its own, uh, sometimes. Whoa. That text at the top? Another broken soul seeking truth. We're getting some story here. Less encumbered than the last. Than the last? Oh, shit. You have paid a high toll, indeed. For the abomination in your quiver. And for what? Knowledge? Power? I hope it was worth it. Do what you must. Whoa. Holy crap. This game's actually really bringing out the story now. Wow. <laughs> it's all oh, right. It's kind of doing the same thing that Shadow of the Colossus did when it would, it kind of makes you question your motives in this game like why are we doing this? And I'm I'm kind of guessing like uh the person that was talking there was like a god or a deity of this world or like one of them at least. There's nothing over there. It's kind of saying, you know, God knows why you're doing this, but, you know, do what you must, basically. Ah, oh, this game really intrigues me. It's got a lot, you know, you can tell it's got a lot of soul into it. A lot of, like, time and energy has been put into this game. Right, so that path basically leads to the same area. I don't know where we're going here. We're about to deal with something big, I know. So I don't know if this is end game yet, because I know this is a short game. But, uh, there's still a couple bosses left, I know that much. God, the art! in this area is really, you see like the vines that kind of pulsating? It's really interesting. In fact, this, if you look to the right here, this looks like a, like a giant face. Like the uh, greenery around is kind of like its beard. Uh, I'm guessing we're climbing this guy. I don't even know if this is a guy or whether it's just a, you know, sort of thing that's been built here for a long time. God knows what we're about to encounter up here. Oh, it's really weird how it like follows you. Right, I'm guessing we have to deal with this how we deal with any other, you know, door that has a giant eye on it. We have to shoot it. Whoa, okay. That didn't open a damn thing. This is the exact same thing that happens when you defeat a titan. So when we pull this out, are we about to like, get souls from this like giant mountain? Let's see. Did we just defeat a titan there? What the hell? That wasn't even a battle. What was that? This game is... Oh, it's so good. I love stuff like this. Like, what now, then? Is that all said and done? Is that... Is that us done? Or... Yeah. I'm guessing something's going to awaken when we get down here. I don't know if that's just it. It kind of feels so random, doesn't it? I'm really intrigued by that, though. I'm just surprised there's no boss battle. I'm expecting anything to happen here. Really am. 
and I thought the music faded out there. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so on edge now. I don't know why, but this, this really got to me, this. God, it's like... It's forcing you to kill something that is, like, speaking to you with an actual conscience. Like, everything else that you fought doesn't really have its own voice. It's just a cr another creature, you know, for you to kill. This guy is actually, like, you know, con conversing with you before you even kill him. Wow. Yeah, I'm absolutely taken aback by this. This is a fantastic game so far. Like, I don't really know what this was. I kind of just happened upon this place. Like, there's nothing else here I can really see. I just... I'm guessing, like, that's a secret titan. Like, because it, it was... It, it, it's a very hard place to kind of just find yourself upon. Because, you know, we had to go through that, like, secret tunnel first off. And then we had to climb all this vine. Like, to get, get all the way up here was kind of a task. It's not something you just happen upon uh, most times, and like you know, especially in your first playthrough, I just kind of happened upon it. So is that guy going to be the second boss of this area? Is the save point going to be complete? Let's see. Right? Yes, it is. Oh, all right then. That's it done then. Wow. <laughs> Again, I, I, I will constantly ramble on about how much I love this game, but I love this game so much. You may uh, consider it not enough content, because it is a very boiled down game. It's just the basic elements of, uh, you know, what exactly what it is. But, like, for the amount of money it is, and I think it's about £10, it's uh, well worth it, in my opinion. Because I'm getting such a good experience from this. Right, so we've got a new area. That's our save point done. I know, so there's a couple uh, of little hieroglyphics and stuff on here. Like you can see here, like this little uh, what look like gods. Kind of looks like the uh, first main boss we defeated, the guy with like the hands that pounded down. He kind of looks like that guy. There's another guy here, looks a little more skeletal. Oh, there's a bunch of these guys. I wonder if these uh, are bosses we're about to encounter. Who knows? So again, uh, I just want to note, this area is a new area entirely, but we didn't transition, we're, we're still in the main area. Because, uh, you know, just up here is, you know, where the um, elevator is that we gone, you know, got, went up to this main area, so... Uh, I don't know where to go from here, let's go all the way up here, see what, let's see what there is to see. Right, so we have a boss door, I'm assuming. Yep, there's the noise, right. Let's see what this guy's like. It's always really ominous when you enter like an empty room and you just don't know what's in front of you. Hmm. Now that's interesting. Wow, this guy just looks like a straight up knight, but what I can instantly see here, one arrow. One arrow just like us. I wonder what this boss is going to be like. Do we have to shoot the arrow first? Let's see. Whoa, okay. I don't know what this boss is going to be like. Also, I think this is the first boss that had a human, like a human name. The, all the others kind of had an archaic name that you couldn't read. It was like kind of an ancient language. Holy crap, this guy's really intense. He has more than one arrow as well. This, kind of, this uh, big arrow kind of just goes around the room of its own accord. All right, I don't know how to deal with this guy. I'll wait for the opportune time to strike on him, but at the moment I just want to kind of uh, dodge these arrows as much as I can. That went through the pillar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I thought I was safe there. I, I wasn't. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Right, here's another door. Um, I'll go back to this door once I'm done with this guy. I want to fight this guy a couple more times. And if we have a bit of trouble with this guy, this guy looks like a really... He looks like more personal. It's very similar to you. He just looks like a warrior with a, you know, a bow and arrow, very much like you. This... Um... This fight seems a bit more important than the others, in, in a kind of a way. So, oh, by the way, before, before I initiate this boss battle, if the pillars are basically a little bit partially destroyed, I'm guessing that arrow, like the others, is just going to go right through it. So I'm only going to hide behind them, unless like they're fully intact. And I don't know if we'll have enough time to dodge it, uh, even if we're not behind a pillar. In fact, I'm going to test that. Let's see if we can just roll out of the way. Right, we can. Okay. I was going to shoot other arrows at us. Uh, let's see if we can aim for him. <laughs> okay. Jeez. It doesn't give you, like, any time to even aim. He just goes straight for you. It's not fair. This, how did this guy get multiple arrows? Why do we keep going this way? This guy has more than one arrow. 
Like this guy, you know, the guy we're playing, why the hell did he only take one arrow? He's not really that prepared, is he? <laughs> He's doing well so far, not against this guy. I'm really liking this guy. That's a lot again, that's a lot different from all the others. Whilst he's aiming, can we can we take a shot or is he gonna be floating? Let's see. Nope. Okay. Oh my god, you see how quick that arrow is? It's so it's so quick. This yeah, like as soon as he starts aiming, you cannot aim yourself. You have to keep moving. I I, I don't know why I don't it's an instantly when I see stairs, I just keep climbing them. I don't know why, but I constantly think that those stairs are going to take me to this door. <laughs> I'm going to do it the next time. Just watch me. Okay, I'm going to have a little watch of this guy. Uh, see if see if I can continue to dodge his attacks. I like that when you initiate the boss battle, it kind of stuns you for a second. It's really in it's like a really inter interesting idea. All right, dodge. All right, it's going to take aim. Dodge again. Can we use these arrows? Nope. Okay, Let's see how many arrows he can actually use. He's used three. He's gonna keep going. Oh! Oh, he's gonna collect the arrows. Interesting. Okay. So when he collects the arrows, I'm guessing that's an opportune time to essentially aim for him. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Big arrow ricocheted off the wall there. So we'll kind of have to keep our distance from the walls in case something like that happens. Not going up those stairs. Gonna pass them. That's good. <laughs> right. Yeah, and if it only takes the one hit, which I don't know about this guy, it, when you initiate this, like initiate the battle, you can see up there his armor disappears for a second. You can kind of see like a sort of skeletal, like muscular structure underneath. Oh, miss! I'll show it here. Like there, can you see that? It's really interesting. I don't know if like we have to knock off his armor and then he has a second phase with like that like skeletal version of him. Ooh, that almost hits there, right? Dodges three arrows. Also, watch out for that main arrow as well, because it's all over the place. Right. One more. And... Oh, we missed him. Nah, we missed our opportunity there. Right. Let's see if we can go through this again. And dodge. Oh, damn it. I keep forgetting it ricochets. Damn it. This is a toughie. It's just trial and error, though. Keep going at it. The thing with this game is uh, you have infinite lives. So there's no penalty for death. Death is essentially uh, a good thing because you learn. You learn from your mistakes in this game. So, you know, once you know what not to do, then you can go back and say, okay, we're not going to do that. Let's try something else. It's not like limited by lives. And if we die, we have to, well, like, we have to go like back several bosses. That would suck, but all right. Dodge. Dodge the first one. God, they're so quick. Second. Oh, watch out for the big one. And three. Go for it. Come on. Come on. Whoa. There we go. I think. Yeah, right. Oh, in interesting. Okay, so I, I think I hit him there, but it didn't kill him. So that's breaking the conventions of the Titans right there. So we're going to have to hit this guy multiple times, I think. Do we have our arrow back? No, we don't. Oh, get our arrow back. Come on. Okay. Uh, we missed our opportunity there. I, I thought we had our arrow for a sec. Alright. Oh, again, I keep getting tricked by that. God damn it. It's the first sign of madness. <laughs> Just get doing the same thing over and over again. God, I love the music in this area too. It's so like so tranquil. And then you head in, head in here and get your ass kicked. <laughs> it's not so tranquil then. Get our back. And go back to the... I'm not sure if this is the best thing to do. Like, stay just down here and avoid them. Because, again, we're very... Like, see, we're very close to the uh, wall. So, I don't know if we're... Oh, damn it. Uh, this is going to take some time. Please bear with me on this one. This this is kind of how the game is designed. The thing I'm very thankful for, which I think I've mentioned before, is the save point is right next to the doors. So, there's not much... It's not like you have to travel five minutes to get to another place. Like... The thing is, Shadow of the Colossus, that kind of suffered from that, because the world is so big that you literally, you had to... Unless you didn't use the save points, you had to travel so far. Yeah. Other than that, I love that game. It's very unpredictable where that big arrow is going to go. Like, right there, I can barely see it. 
Okay. And dodge the other one. There we go. Where's it going to go? Down there. Oh, I thought I had him there. I thought I definitely hit him there. Come on. Maybe it just didn't have enough power and the arrow kind of uh, lost its momentum a bit. God, this is a really tough boss. Cause it, its attacks are so quick and then you have to avoid that like big arrow at the same time. It's really tough. There's a lot of things you have to focus on. I'm going to wait for him to pick up this arrow here. Oh, that's so strange. I definitely hit him there, but it, it didn't do anything like the first time. What did I do the first time that I didn't do there? I have no idea. You probably, you guys probably saw it on, you know, you probably go back and see, but I have no idea. You see, it's not doing anything. I have no idea. I thought I had it down. Do we have to have his big arrow hit him, maybe? I don't because we can't really control it, can we? Ooh, that was close. I have, um, I'm, I'm so lost here. I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm completely lost as to what to do here. How did I get him vulnerable the first time? Well, even though we can't figure out how to do this, it's good to get some practice and not, like, kind of sustain this boss battle so you don't die, so you have enough time to kind of learn his attack patterns. Oh, my God. I'm so lost here. It's like, I hate the fact that I figured it out the first time, and now I have no idea. I will get it eventually. Oh, God damn it. Saying that, <laughs> I'm not too sure anymore. Uh, all right. Back to the boss we go.